What's good, YouTube? It's Mario TV, and I am back with another banger for y'all, man. Just let me before I get into this video. Do not mind my hair. I just got out the shower, but I got something really different for you guys today. Something that you guys are not expecting at all. But yeah, today I'm going to be showing you guys a little project. Um, I'm actually going to be dyeing some jeans that I bought. All this stuff from Walmart. Walmart is the plug for this type of stuff for sure. So I'm going to show you guys what we're kind of going to be trying to create here today i'm gonna throw up a picture right here of what we're trying to create like i said this is my first time doing this so i'm really not sure how it's gonna come out but i definitely do want to try so today that's what we're gonna be doing at the end i'm gonna be trying to paint something actually on them so stay tuned for that but first i'm gonna show you everything that you are going to need for this project like number one thing you're gonna need is the pants i got two pair of these pants these are like the regular size because i want them to fit a little loose so as you can see they are my size, but this is a brand. They were the George Regulars. Now, these pants right here are only $10 at Walmart. Really cheap and they're good quality pants. So, we're going to be using these. Make sure that you get a light wash pair of jeans. And the next thing that you guys are going to need is this dye right here. I got two of them. I'm going to show you guys these. These dyes right here are only $4 each. So, I got a blue one and I got a red one. As you can see, this is the brand you're going to need. It is the Rip Dye from Walmart. It should be on like the craft section or the clothes, like where all the dye is for the clothes, like the tie dye stuff. So for my first project, I'm gonna be using the red color. Next thing you're gonna really need is a bottle of bleach. Now I just got like a little spray container and I poured some bleach in it, as you can see. You wanna make sure that you clean and wash them first, just so that way anything that you do on them will actually stay on them. Once those come out of the dryer, I'm gonna go ahead and hang them up and then we can get to it. All right, now the next couple things you're gonna need just to like do the actual dyeing process is any kind of like just a little stick or whatnot, just so you can mix around the pants when they're in the dye. Just cause you can't really put your fingers in there cause it's kind of like, you know, chemicals. And then get you some sort of like a little bucket you can put the dye and water in to put your jeans in. And obviously you're gonna use a stick to stir it around in here. I got the pants right here, some hot water, and I got the little bleach right here. But first we're gonna be, um, bleaching them so i'm just gonna spray this on there real quick so we're gonna let them sit for like 10 minutes and then i'm gonna show you guys how they look then after that i'm gonna wash them actually i'm gonna flip them over and bleach the back side and then i'm gonna wash them off and then i'm gonna go ahead and dye them but i'll show you that too so i bleached them down here at the bottom and i sprayed it with the bleach like some x's on the back so i think it looks really dope like that and once it gets red it's gonna look even better that's how the front's looking right now right now i'm about to put half of this bottle in here i think just half will do the job so i'm gonna put half of it in there and then I'm going to go ahead and mix it around and then I'm going to put the pants in there and I'll show you guys that. Alright, so as you can see, it's like pretty much blood red in there. So I poured almost over half of the whole bottle in there. So right now I'm going to put the jeans in there I'm going to show you all that. We're gonna see how this comes out. I feel like I may have put too much water. See, they're pretty much red now, but still not done. So I'm gonna wait about 30 minutes, then I'm gonna take them out of this um, dye water. I had to use the whole bottle of dye um, just because it come out the best that it possibly can. So yeah, I'm gonna let these soak here for a little bit, and then I'll be back in about 30 minutes. So let's get it. All right, so I just pulled them out of the dye a little bit, but that's what they're looking like. I got some gloves on because I'm about to pull them out of here. I'm gonna hang them up on this rack right here that I have. So I'm gonna hang them up with this on that rack and then I'm gonna show you what they look like when they're out. This is what they looking like. 
said, once they dry, they're not gonna be this dark. They're gonna change a little bit. You see how good they are. Like those where I bleached the red X's, you can really see it really good right now. But like I said, I'm gonna let them dry for about an hour or two. Just let them drip dry, cause they're dripping right now. All right, so I just brought them inside and I'm about to like wash off the excess dye. So I'm gonna lay them down right here in the tub and then I'm gonna spray them off with the water hose just to get the excess dye off of them. And then I'm gonna throw them in the washing machine and then they should be good to go after that. I'm gonna keep washing them off until all this water is completely clear. It's taking a while, so I'll just get back with y'all when it's done. All right, so I just finished rinsing them all out to this completely clear. So I hung them up right here so I could like spray them better, but they're not com completely clear like when I spray them off, but I've been in here for like an hour doing it. So I just put too much dye in there um, when I dyed them, which is the issue. But right now I'm about to put them into the washing machine with a mild detergent. Go ahead and throw them in the washing machine and then I'm gonna dry them. When I get off of work, I'm gonna come home and see how they look. All right, y'all, so I just got off of work and I showed you guys that when I got off, I was gonna show you guys the pants after they was dried, washed, and completely done. And they are done, so I'm gonna show you guys that right now, right here. As y'all can see, they were, did come out very like pinkish colored. She don't understand, but I've been going through some shit. I've been feeling lonely, so I went and bought a glick. I just called my brody and he still be hitting licks. Told him I'ma make it and get us up out this shit. She don't understand, but I've been going through some shit. I've been feeling lonely, so I went and bought a glick. Good shit, man. Those are the pants. Like I said, I am going to be actually making these and selling them from now on. So if you guys are interested in those pants or you want some pants like that or you want to buy some or you want me to make you some, let me know, but yeah. Hope you guys like it. If you do, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, turn on post notifications. Comment next video idea you wanna see, bro. But without further ado, it's Mumba TV, and I'm out.